Okay, so when you get to the point where it's about one shell away from where it's going to fit your shoulders securely, um, snugly, according to your size at the Craft Yarn Council's website that you looked up because you want it to fit, this is what we're going to do to join. So we have finished our last shell row. What we need to do now is add a V-stitch row starting in our corner here. And we'll do it the same as we have been doing. So the corners still get um, a V-stitch. And a chain three. And a V-stitch. Chain five. Skip the shell and V-stitch into the single crochet. Then place your V-stitch round all the way around until you get back to your first corner. When you finish your V-stitch round, you'll attach with a slip stitch to the first double crochet you made. And then we are going to slip stitch into the first space, into the next double crochet stitch, slip stitch into the chain three space. With your hexagon folded into an L shape, turn your work and chain one. Here we are going to, on both sides, place a single crochet. So with them both together, place a single crochet into the chain three space. For this next part, we are going to do a variation of the shell to bring both sides together. So what I'm going to do is double crochet into the V-stitch closest to me, and then double crochet into the V-stitch opposite me. So that's this one that had the color change here. I did snip that yarn. You don't have to, but to get it out of the way for the video, I went ahead and snipped that alternate color. And we're going to do this for a total of six rather than seven to make up our shell. So we have one, two, into the front is three, into the back is four, into the front is five into the back is six. And then we count over four, one, two, three, four, place our hook in. On the back, we're gonna count four, one, two, three, four, that's the middle, and single crochet those together. So we're gonna repeat this along, I'll show you again. And the front V-stitch is one, and the back V-stitch is two, front three, back four, front five, back six. And then on the next shell, we're going to count over four, one, two, three, four. Insert the hook, one, two, three, four, and single crochet both sides together. One more time, the front V-stitch is one, the back V-stitch is two, front three, back four, front five, back six, and then single crochet the two sides together in the middle of each shell. 
we're going to continue this across the top. And this is the shoulder seam. When you reach the corner, repeat the pattern for the V-stitch. And then single crochet the chain three spaces together. And you have your shoulder seam. Now here's where it changes the pattern a little bit because we are going to be working the width of the garment and increasing the bottom as well at the same time. So we are going to work this in rounds. So we're gonna go down this side, around the bottom and up the back. For this, you'll need to go back to the Craft Yarn Council website and find your size for shoulder to shoulder. I believe it's number four on the website. And so each side should be um, half of your measurement, um, minus about an inch because that's what the joining will give. So you'll want to take your measurement, subtract an inch and divide it by two. That is how wide your finished side is going to be. So for me, I can see that I need two more clusters of the colorful sections, two more of, or three more of black, and then start on the V-stitch round before joining like that. So for this, I'll show you how we change it to only go around these three sides. We'll work in the round because we already did the work of joining this top shoulder seam. Get my yarn on my hook there. Okay. So what we are going to do is slip stitch over to the chain one space, chain one, and we're going to place our shell. For this, we're only going to put four in the shell, and then we will place three in this V stitch and that will make a shell all together. So four in the first V stitch, one, two, three, four, place our single crochet as normal, shell in the next V stitch with seven double crochet, single crochet in the middle of the shell and around the chain five space, shell in the next V stitch. So we're just continuing the pattern here all the way around and I will meet you back when you are ready to join the sides. Okay, so we placed our last single crochet in the middle of the shell, and we're ready to do our half shell here with the final three double crochet in this V-stitch. And then we are going to attach with a slip stitch to the first double crochet made on this side. The reason we're doing that, we don't want to increase our count, so we're gonna count this as one shell instead of doing two shells and a single crochet. 
So slip stitch on over through all of your double crochets. And now we are in the single crochet. We are going to add our color, whatever colors you're alternating with. I'm using this rainbow. It's so pretty, I just love this yarn. And pull it through. That is going to count as our chain one up to the stitch height. And we are going to do our V stitch and we're going to start carrying color again because we will be alternating back and forth for however many rows that you need to obtain the size that you are going for. So here we go. We yarned over, we pulled through two, we're going to yarn over with both colors and pull through two and bring that black back up to stitch height. So we're going to chain one and double crochet in the same single crochet, just like that. And we are back to the pattern that you recognize. Chain five, skip the shell, V stitch in the single crochet, chain five, skip the shell, V stitch in the single crochet, all the way around. So we have turned this back into a pattern of rounds and we are going to continue this all the way around um, until you reach half minus one inch of what is your shoulder width. So your shoulder width, subtract one inch and divide that number by two to get an approximate um, width for one side, not the whole thing. You're not measuring it all folded out like this. You're just gonna measure with it folded in an L right here. And that way it'll um, get you the right size. If you're in between sizes, I would definitely you know size up for comfort. That's gonna be more comfortable than wearing something that is too tight. But when you get all of your required rounds for the size on the front, bottom, and back, we'll meet back here and we will talk about joining the two sides of the cardigan. We're going to talk about um, adding length to the sleeve and adding length to the bottom. So come back when you have two sides that are the correct size for the size that you are making and we'll talk about joining the front and the back because it is a little bit different than how we did the sleeve join here. Okay. So now we're at the point where you have two hexagons made um, just about to the width of your back minus an inch or so because this joining row is going to be different. So on one side you're going to leave it unfinished this way on a v-stitch round. On the final side that you complete Go ahead and add your shells and attach with a slip stitch. So for the join, we need to get back to the top. And since I'm close, I'm just going to slip stitch back to this single crochet. That'll be the top. Um, but if you're further away, depending on how many rows that you have for the extension on the three sides, um, depending on how many rows you might want to cut your yarn and then reattach in the middle. And so we can see right here where our shoulder seam is, there's the middle shell, there's the middle shell. Okay, so that's going to be the point where they all attach. I'm going to be in the first single crochet after that, and I'll show you what we do here. So placing my cardigan pieces kind of back to back as it were. Go ahead and get into that single crochet there with a slip stitch and turn my pieces. 
I also like to kind of spread it out so this is not in any danger of getting me confused about which side I am working into here. So I am in that slip stitch. What I'm going to do is place a double crochet into the fourth of the shell here. One, two, three, four. Around that chain five space, just as normal. Double crochet. So working along, we're going to put double crochets into the single cro or into where we would normally put a single crochet. And what this does is it helps it to lay flatter, so we don't have a bumpy seam on the seam on the back. Um, these ones on the arms are a little bit bumpier, but I think it looks better um, because the rounded shelf shape is maintained by that join on the sleeves. Um, but if you prefer it, you could use this back seam join on the sleeves as well. It's like I say, you're the artist, totally up to your preference. So moving into the V stitch on the opposite side, I'm gonna place four double crochet. That's half of my shell. And now that I have four, I'm going to slip stitch to the fourth of the shell on the opposite side of my hexagon. So one, two, three, four, place my slip stitch there. And then I need to finish my shell on the unfinished side with three more double crochet in that same V stitch. One, two, three. Over into the shell and chain five space, count over four, one, two, three, four, place a double crochet. And slip stitch into the opposite single crochet. Then we move right along into the next V stitch with four double crochet. Slip stitch into the fourth, one, two, three, four, fourth double crochet of the opposite shell. Finish the shell with three double crochet in the same V stitch. Into this shell, place a double crochet, one, two, three, fourth double crochet of that shell around the chain five space, and slip stitch into the opposite single crochet. To the next V stitch, four doubles, slip stitch to the opposite fourth double crochet of the shell. like so. Three double crochet in the same V stitch. And a double crochet into the fourth, one, two, three, four of the next shell. There we go. And slip stitch into the opposite single crochet. So I'll just show you what we've done so far. We're gonna continue this all the way down. We have this join here and it's just about as flat as the rest of our project. 
without compromising the pattern. So we're going to continue this all the way down until we get to this corner and I'll show you what we do for the corner. Okay, so here is our seam that we've done and we've made it to the bottom. So what I've done so far is the four double crochets in the first V-stitch. I'm going to slip that, slip stitch, one, two, three, four, here. And place three more double crochets in that V-stitch. In the chain three space, we are going to do a double crochet and slip stitch to the single crochet between shells, just like we did all the way up. And now we're ready for this next shell. So we'll continue along in pattern with seven double crochets in each V-stitch and then a single crochet around the five, chain five space and into the fourth single crochet. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I need six and seven. One, two, three, four, single crochet. And that is going to match this side all the way around with the bottom all the way around. And then when we get all the way across and all the way up, we will have one more joining stitch to do and I'll show you that. So we've come around all of the sides on this one and I'm in my last cluster that I need to attach here. So in the same manner in the V-stitch, work four double crochet. Come across the aisle here, one, two, three, four, slip stitch, and three double crochet in that same V stitch, one, two, lost it, misplaced my clover hook, which I have been using for months. Now I'm back to my Susan Fades, and you can tell I'm a little bit rusty with it. Here we go. One, two, three. And here we're back to your first double crochet going to attach actually around the legs of the stitch instead of the top of the stitch here because there's kind of a lot of pressure on that already so I'm just going to slip it in around the legs of that first double crochet and slip stitch it there. Do a slip knot and cut your yarn. So moving on to the sleeves now this is what you will have where you finished um, increasing in the round. You have your V-stitches and then where you added your seam here. It's a little bit different what we're going to do here. So bring it around to a place where it's comfortable for you to work with. And essentially what we're going to do is, because you don't want to increase here, we're going to do the same that we did at the um, top where we place three on this side and seven on this side. So that will make up our shell and it's going to kind of pull it tighter. So let me grab my yarn here. Okay, so I have my black color. Slip stitch and or slip knot and put it on my hook. Then I'm going to go ahead and start on this side. Wait, because I need to think about color changes. I'm going to start with one on this side and do the rest when we come back around. Because I'm going to carry the color in the sleeves the same way I did in the body. So 
So I'm going to start here with one double crochet in the V-stitch. One, two, three, four. Single crochet. Shell in the V-stitch. single crochet and the fourth double crochet of the previous shell. So do that all the way around until you get back up to the top and I'll show you. So when you come back around, you have the V-stitch where you placed one double crochet and this V-stitch here. I'm going to place one, two, three, come across, this is number four, number five, number six, and seven was already in there. So at this point I am going to change my color for the next row. all that pretty tight and slip stitch into the first double crochet I made okay so now I am ready to move on to my V stitch row slip stitch into the single crochet chain one first double crochet yarn over pull through two yarn over with both colors pull through two, and that brings the black up to height for when we're ready to work with it next. Chain one, and place a double crochet in that same single crochet, chain five. So we're just going to continue this, alternating the colors um, until your sleeve is the length that you wanted. So I wanted to talk about some variations you could do um if you felt so inclined so if you just go no increases this is what it's going to look like and it will be form fitting because this part fit your upper arm your lower arm is a little bit thinner that's why we have one slight decrease there um but if you wanted a different look say like a bell sleeve or something like that you could do that um, by adding a v-stitch corner um, you could do it every row for a huge sleeve or every other row for a more like tapered layer um, and so on the v-stitch row when you're underneath the arm here you would do like a v-stitch chain three v-stitch and work it like a corner and in that way you would get like flat on top and then a curve going down and that way you could do like a like I said a bell sleeve or um, a gentle flared sleeve whatever your preference is but this is just for the straight sleeve you'll just continue working in rounds like you're familiar with doing the rows of v-stitch chain five v-stitch chain five v-stitch around and then shell single crochet into the fourth double crochet of the previous shell shell in the v-stitch single crochet into the fourth double crochet of the previous shell all the way around until you have the length that you like again craft yarn council can help you with sizing if um, it's someone that is not you who you're making it for or you can just uh, try it on as you go until you're at a comfortable size for your sleeve length and do it that way so once you have both of your sleeves completed come back to the video and we will work on adding length to the bottom of the cardigan and like I say, this is all personal preference. If you like it a cropped length, you can leave it a cropped length, but I'm going to show you how we add on in this shell stitch pattern for rows for the bottom. All right. <laughs> 